he was a very focused scholar from the very beginning, um, incredibly prolific. The sheer amount of material that's going into the um, James Cahill papers is astonishing, nothing like I've ever seen before. We've worked with a number of important scholars throughout the 20th century. This is by far the largest mass of material we've brought focused on one particular scholar's output. Nothing else compares. It's, it's quite amazing. Yeah. yeah. When he came for the Freer Medal, he was um, at that time quite frail, and it was my job to wheel him around in his wheelchair and to take him to his hotel and back and such. Um, I say he was frail, um, rather tired from the trip, and uh, I remember being very concerned because he was supposed to give a presentation uh, following the um, following the, the ceremony of uh, the Freer Medal. And I remember thinking he would probably stand up and just give general thank you very much, I appreciate it, and then sit back down. He stood up for, I'd say, a full 45 minutes and had the audience in the palm of his hand. He was a natural showman, born to the lectern. He was an absolute... Um, he, he gave a fabulously well-constructed presentation about the um, history of the Freer, his own experiences there, and the, the larger context of the Freer in Chinese art study, and um, peppered it with fabulous jokes that had everybody roaring. I, I've never seen anything like it. 